What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome. I had to do my little throat clearing thing to check the mic meters to make sure you could hear me. I am the Crypto Crow. And, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of questions and I, I see a lot of stuff related to Cardano and what's going on. And everybody's talking about how the, you know, it's like the tea kettle starting to boil and things are starting to heat up and everything's going pretty well and growing and TVL's growing and volume is growing. Everything's growing. And I know I've done videos uh, recently where I've talked about, you know, the potential for a continuation of a price drop, but like, as I said, I started averaging in at 15 cents, okay? And my current average price right now is around like 37 cents, I think, something to that effect. So I'm hovering around profitability right now. I'm in a little bit of a loss and that's okay. I'm fine with that. The price goes significantly lower or if it goes back and it starts falling into the 20s, I'm buying more and that's okay. And here's the thing, when you're talking about dollar cost averaging into an asset, uh, you know, the money that can be made, it's like nobody can really perfectly time the top and the bottom. I timed the top to the day, but I did not time the bottom, okay? I missed the bottom. And so it wasn't until the price started to get back up to a certain point where I'm like, mm, I think I might've missed the bottom. I don't know, anything could happen. We have so much longer uh, left in this bear market cycle prior to the halving. And so I started figuring like, what would happen if an average Joe, somebody that doesn't necessarily have the capital to go all in multiple times and, and dollar cost average with you know sizable sums, um, keep in mind, I've been through three cycles already. So I have a general idea as to what's happening, what's coming, what's going to happen to some degree, right? And you know, the history uh, is often a guide, but it's never a technical manual in the sense that, you know, we can't replicate history each and every time, but the future generally rhymes. And so we're gonna take a look at things and I'm gonna show you what basically what you could potentially make at just averaging in over time. Now, this is murderofcrows.io. Uh, these are my own personal little uh, fun NFTs. You can mint up to 10 at a time and they support me and my channel and that's about it. It's not anything that's gonna make anybody super wealthy or anything, but they're just fun and I love my supporters. They show me in my chats and a lot of people use them as their avatars on Twitter and social media and things, so I appreciate all that I really do love to see it now this is Cardano's price action all the way back in like 2019 now if we look at where the having was this was the having in 2020 this is the period where Bitcoin's hard-coded algorithm cuts mining yield in half okay it happens every four years like clockwork and it's based off of epochs and things um, and, and mining cycle but ultimately it's about every four years and typically when this happens, that's when a bull market starts because now Bitcoin's incoming supply is cut in half while demand continues to rise with FOMO, institutional investing, and things of that nature. And while Bitcoin rises and typically peaks, so as Bitcoin rises and falls, rises and falls, yes, even through a bull run, even in a bull run, we see 20, sometimes even 40% pullbacks in a bull run, okay? And, and that's generally all before it gets really parabolic. And, you know, we're seeing some similarities to the 2017 cycle uh, more than we are the 2019 cycle, which was substantial growth all at once. Maybe that happens this time. Maybe it doesn't. So we're kind of averaging it out. Now, if we look at where we are in the cycle right now for Cardano, this is about uh, this is about where we're at. OK, so we're very we're very close to like June 17th. The price had bottomed. It's come up a little bit and it started to it's, it's down a little but from its peak, it's much, it, it, I mean, it's doing pretty well, okay? Um, and so when we, when we look at the price action and where we're at, we've got about, um, I think it was something to the effect of a little over, uh, about a little less than a year rather, sorry. So if we see, if this is, this bottom line here is where we're at. Okay, so if we take this and then we go 365 days, this is just past the halving. And I, and I did this for a reason. So we're basically going to say, if we were to average in from about now, which is where we are in the general pricing cycle in the current market, and we were to average in all this time through the next halving for a total of 365 days, what does that look like? 
And the thing of it is, is this isn't necessarily, um, you know, obviously the pricing is much different now, right? So back here, you know, the price was around five cents. Uh, at this point here, it was at about eight cents and it continued to drop down even further. We got some new lows. We were down to like a penny at one point. But the thing of it is, is where we are in the market, a lot of people are thinking, well, Cardano's sitting at around 36 cents. It may, it, it, the, the bottom is in, the bottom was back, back when it was around 24, 25 cents. And, and there are a lot of people that believe that, but we still have over almost a year to go until the next halving and anything can happen. And we can see here that Cardano's price did drop even further. Given where we're at in the current macro market, where everything is kind of like hell in a handbasket, right? What's happening with the dollar? What's happening with all of these other countries forming their own, you know, currencies? And I mean, there's so much stuff happening and the, the, the value of the dollar can continue to drop, which I'm sure it will through inflation. And while we're trying to offset that inflation, Inflation. It doesn't necessarily mean that the dollar is going to come up in value, okay? It's likely going to drop as it has. I mean, since 2020, the value of the dollar has not done well. Nothing in the economy has done well. I don't care what anybody's trying to fool you with. It's just the way it has been. Um, so now let's go to the current current market, all right? So this reflects exactly what I'm talking about in terms of where we are uh, in relation to like the next halving. Now, this is just directly to the next halving. This is 327 bars from the current market. If we were to pull this out, to uh, you know, 365 days to give us a full year. We're going just past the next halving, which is this green line here. So what does this look like if we were to average in starting today? And you can see how similar this looks to that previous cycle. I mean, it's pretty much identical, okay? Here's the bottom, we rose up. I mean, it's very similar, okay? What you can also say though, is that the, um, the the volatility is much less significant in this market because you know honestly there's a lot more going on with cardano today than there was back then so the price volatility may not be as as you know ebb and flow all right so if we were to start averaging it what does that look like so i basically created this this is um dca hyphen cc.com this is a Cardano uh, DCA calculator to basically let you know what you would have if you averaged in so much a day, so much a week, so much a month. And I've already done a calculation based off of this period that I'm going to show you. But basically, I put um, $5. Let me see if I can zoom out. Um, I mean, I can, but it's not necessarily... Uh, the, the, the framing of this site is not that great, especially for trying to show what I'm doing. At one point, it was doing pretty well, but then it, I don't know, it resized or I don't know. But anyway, so I've got $5 a day ultimately is what I have in here. And then I started it from 6, 17, 20, 20 well, it should be 2019. Um, so yeah, okay. So it's 6, 17, 2019 is where it started. And it went 365 days basically to 6, 17, 2020. And in that time period, starting from the very first date in the chart all the way 365 day, day, days later, we got an average price of da, 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 five cents, okay? I know the price is much higher right now. That's okay, that's not the point. But in that 365 day period, we invested a total of $1,830, that's it. We invested $1,830 over the course of one full year, starting at basically where we're at now in the same market. What did that, now, and this, and, and as you notice, I stopped it just after the halving, because if you don't wanna average in as the price is continuing to go up post halving, well, that's entirely up to you. You can, you're probably still gonna do well, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about showing what getting into the market right now could potentially mean by the peak of this market. All right. So and, and if you think about it, if you look at the price action, this this green line is the um, is the having this red line is approximately where I see the peak having uh, being right. So from the having alone, you're looking at another um, 490 days. So over a year from the time of the having, So we've got two years at least, I mean, we've got two years until likely the next peak of the market, all right? 
So you're basically investing for a year and then you're sitting and waiting. And keep in mind, this doesn't, this DCA doesn't count, take into account staking rewards. Because by the time all is said and done, when, when you've, when, as you're averaging in, you're also generating a staking yield if you're staking it to like the Crow node or any other node for that matter that's doing a consistent yield. It's been around a while. You're gonna generate roughly four and a half percent annual and you're gonna get basically that much back in your Cardano based off of what's in your wallet. So you're looking at $1,830. And then from there, you know, we've got the calculation here. I took that $1,830 worth of Cardano, which equated to around 36,600 Cardano, all right? I took the 1830 at an average price of five cents, and then that gave me 36,600 ADA, and then I multiplied that by the previous market peak, which was $3.14. So your average price basically got you 36,600 ADA over the course of that year. You held on to it through the rest of that market, the ebbs and flows of the bull market. You made hundred and almost $115,000 minus your cost, which was 1830. Multiply that as many times as you want over. Okay, and that's honestly, that's the gist of it. Now, obviously the numbers are gonna be different here because you're starting at around 36 cents. Maybe the price continues to go down further before it starts to come back up. That's okay, that's what averaging in is. When I started averaging in, I started my averaging in process at about 50 cents. As you can see, it's down to 36 cents. It's gone even a little bit lower and I bought you know, a pretty decent sum of that. So, and if it goes into the 20s, I'm gonna continue averaging in further. But the, the thing of it is, is we could always be wrong. That's why we average in. We average in because we wanna get into the market to start things off. It doesn't necessarily matter where we start in the market as long as we're consistent with it. That's why people say, buy the dip, buy the dip, because they're averaging their position down depending on where they bought it originally. Okay, and then once and if you do start to average into Cardano over this time period, and why Cardano? Because Cardano to me is my number one. It's my number one holding. I've been following it since 2017, and against all of these other tokens out there, the 20 something odd thousand tokens in crypto space, Cardano is really one of the few that has been tried tested many, many, many a times, has proven all the fudders, all the haters, all the competing blockchains and their big budgets and buying advertisements, buying FUD against Cardano, trying to hold it down so they can continue to rise up and basically make their profit from their uh, multi-million dollar investments into their posonomics, uh, ponzinomic schemes, um, and, and, and really tried to hold Cardano back. But we've learned you can't hold Cardano back because there are multiple teams of hundreds of developers, scientists, all these different people that are engineers working on Cardano to make it what it is and make it what it is still yet to become, which is getting closer. Hydra is now live on the main net. That is gonna continue spreading and flourishing. We've got Voltaire coming, its governance system that's gonna basically enable Charles to take a step back and let Cardano govern itself through its investors and its public. There are so many different things that are happening and Cardano is and will always be, in my opinion, the only true true decentralized application, the decentralized layer one blockchain out there that is there to empower the finance communities of those who don't have a finance community yet. It's gonna connect the unconnected. World Mobile Token, basically building you know wi-fi wireless infrastructure for people to connect to the internet that don't have you know dug in hardwired infrastructure for the internet and then you've got cardano that's going to help them and assist them in finance DeFi applications all of this it is going to change the world and it's something that I absolutely wholeheartedly believe and I've spent the last five years of my life educating, talking about it, bringing people in and basically encouraging people to educate themselves. Don't listen to anything I have to say. Go listen to Charles and his AMAs. He's been on my channel several times. Listen to some of my interviews with him. I've had different chats with him and, and I, I, I can't, I, I, I'm not giving financial advice at all. Don't listen to me but use what I give you to do your own research and get comfortable with something that you could be as passionate about as I have Cardano. That's all I'm saying. 
If you're passionate about something and you find it basically solving problems for the world over, chances are it's gonna be a use case that many others believe in too and more people are gonna get in. The more people that get in and support the blockchain, you know, set up nodes, stake their A to two nodes, the more secure it becomes and, and the bigger it can get. So that's all this video is about. I wish you well. I want you to have a fantastic and safe weekend. And uh, until next time, guys, crow your Cardano. I'll see you soon.